Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to my Budapest food hunt. What is a food hunt? I'm glad you asked. I was last here in 2019 and like all good tourists I had Hungarian goulash and it was brilliant. I enjoyed it so much I tried it again the following night at a different restaurant and it was superb. Mwah. I was actually poking around in the bowl to find out what the ingredients were. I didn't realise I was being watched by a probably nervous waiter. He came over and he asked, is everything okay sir? And I said, this is brilliant, what is in it? So he told me all the ingredients. I went home, I checked recipes online for Hungarian goulash, and I soon discovered it's one of these meals where you could ask 10 Hungarians and you get 10 different versions as to what goes in it. Anyway, I've done a little bit of tweaking here, a little bit of increase there, a little reduction there, and if I do say so myself, I think my Hungarian goulash kicks ass. And it's not just me that says that, family and friends as well. So I think I'm onto a winner. So I decided to broaden my culinary horizons and try langosh, which is just Hungarian fried bread. So tonight I'm going to try and find Hungarian goulash, because I must, but also I want to find langosh as well, just to make sure I'm making it correct. So let's go hunting. I'm actually walking into the city centre because I want to check out some of the restaurants and cafes that I'm going past. So far I haven't found anyone who's selling goulash. So I've got a feeling it's not the locals who eat the stuff, it's the tourists. Which means we are going to have to go into the city centre, down by the river, and pay ridiculously high prices for it. But it has to be done. Then I stumbled across the Christmas lights. Wherever you find a Christmas market, you find food. These are freshly fried langosh. The beef was very tender. The langosh being served were like small thick crust pizzas. They were made so they could hold contents, such as my beef. I noticed the cheese at langosh seemed to be very popular. The woman before me bought small cakes, so I asked her the same thing. I think she said they were called bubbly cakes, but I haven't been able to find these online. They were like small potato scones with shreds of bacon on top. <laughs> the nice lady serving me gave me a free slice of cheesecake, probably because she felt sorry for me. I couldn't quite identify the type of cheese, it was very mild, but it was definitely cheese. Thank 
Well guys, I didn't go according to plan. I went looking for Hungarian goulash and I found a Christmas market. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming on this little culinary adventure and I'll see you next time.